feels better, most certainly. It really does. And it's a little sign that, you know, we've got more to come. We're getting close. Uh, that's the rumor. Uh, in today's Top Talker, we're discussing these things. High above the Northeast Ohio skies, buzzards. Today's the day that many in Northeast Ohio associate with the buzzards returning. Residents from across the area start their day in Hinkley to watch them soar. And it's a tradition that started in 1957. It's been going ever since. Our Neil Fisher joins us now to talk a little bit more about the legend that started it all. So take it away, buzzard boy. It's all about the <laughs> legend and the tradition, right? This is my first buzzard day in Northeast Ohio, so I had to cover it. Yeah. So yeah. I got the nickname Buzzard Boy. That's what it is. <laughs> That's how it goes. Welcome to it. Legend has it the buzzards, while migrating north, stopped in Hinkley to feed and eventually found their home. In 1957, the first buzzard event took place in Hinkley, and the Cleveland Metro Parks says 20,000 people showed up to witness the birds return. Northeast Ohio has a lot of benefits for the birds, but the legend is what brought them in the first place. There was a large hunt where settlers who wanted to protect their crops and their farms came together and circled an area within Hinkley and, and killed a lot of different animals that may have been a threat to their property. The property in Hinkley is a large part of their return and the tradition. Buzzards roost over the ledges, actually lay their eggs on the rocks themselves. You can see a lot of them over Hinkley Lake and a lot of them, of course, over Lake Erie with their six foot wingspans. The first buzzard was spotted today around 930 and then the crowd saw about a half dozen more throughout the morning, but they believe it took them a while to get up because of that darn gosh cold weather. <laughs> wow, they kept hitting snooze. <laughs> Yeah, nice. They kept hitting snooze. That's what I did this morning. Snooze. Yeah. Snooze. You look snooze. outside and say, yeah, it and looks then the nice, sun but came it's out cold. And He's it like, was I like, got to go to Hinkley to see some buzzards. And then the sun came out, and it was much better. Aren't, aren't they here all winter? They are. Yeah. They are. So I... I it, it's a thing. Just it's, go with it's it. It's tradition. <laughs> they used to migrate south towards South yeah. America and everything. Now that Northeast Ohio has homes and roads all over the place that heats up the pavement and everything for yeah. them and produces roadkill, which they feed on. So all right. they don't have to it's win. a nice climate for them here. That's yeah, right. so they don't need to be snowbirds anymore. No. Um, it, I, I just remember as a kid seeing videos where you could barely see the sky through all those birds. It, it didn't really deliver today. No. It's that cold weather. Somewhat on, disappointed. Betsy. You just have to look for where the roadkill is. You can always tell where something's <laughs> dead because you'll see the birds circling around. So yeah. All right. Very good. It's all good. All right. Thanks so much, welcome. Neil. Welcome to the buzzard beat. Yes, exactly. I'll be back next year. We've be had sure a lot of fun in. with that today. <laughs>